Yet look at what Allah, how Allah encourages, uh, encourages us to look after the disbeliever even though he's under your subjugation. When Allah says, وَيُطْعِمُونَ الطَّعَامَ عَلَىٰ حُبِّهِ مِسْكِينًا وَيَتِيمًا وَأَسِيرًا And they give, they give food in spite of their love and their need for it. The Sahaba, they needed the food. They needed the food and they had just fought somebody who was attacking them and attacking the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And yet they would give that same food that they want for themselves to that kafir asir that was with them. That non-believing disbeliever, the one who kicked him out of his home, the one who treated him without fairness, but now he's a captive with him, he shares with him his own food. He doesn't give him the scraps. He gives him the food that he wants for himself. This is the values that our religion teaches us. And history bears testimony till today that we Muslims took care of our captives like no other nation and we gave them dignity which led many of them to come back to their captives and accept the religion of, their, of, of the ones who had held them in, in, in captivity.